Hey guys, so in this video we are going to go shopping around Bangkok. We're going to go explore shopping malls and also street markets. So come and join us. It's a Lamborghini. So we are in the MBK Centre and we are going to go on each floor and tell you what you can buy and see on each floor. Okay, we're currently on level two at the moment and I have to say this is a bit of everything here. They have tailors, they have a lot of shoe shops, Ella's looking at shoes right now. They have bag shops, jewellery, watches, suitcases, they even have nail places and beauty places. Yeah, you pretty much get anything here actually. This is a lemongrass house, so spa products you can get in there. Here you can get shells over here and other types of jewellery, sunglasses. Oh, and don't forget handbags. Actually, 12 years ago when we were here in Bangkok, we actually stayed at the Pathawan Princess, which is the hotel attached to the MBK Centre, uh, and it was very convenient. So the MBK Centre is not your usual shopping mall. It's almost more like a street market, but inside a mall with multiple levels. So there's pretty much levels where you can buy, for example, electronics. There's a level where you can buy cameras. There's a level where you can buy lots of different clothes and shoes, but very small shops. So you kind of get that street market type feel in here. <laughs> so nearly got whacked with the backpack. So we are on level three and you've got one section which is kind of like all the shops kind of similar to the second level and then you've got the other side which is kind of like market style like it literally looks like a market but it's indoors which is great because it's air conditioned. Casper's haggling at the moment buying a polo shirt. So I just got two Ralph Lauren polo shirts each approximately eight Australian dollars so pretty good bargain I guess definitely the real thing. So it's interesting here at the MPK Centre that a lot of the small stalls they have here in the centre, they actually sell a lot of fakes. So you can get some really tea brand t-shirts, you can get Jordan shoes for hardly any money, hats, bells, different types of souvenirs. It's pretty much like going to a market actually. You can get all those sorts of things that you would normally buy at a market. It's kind of the usual prices too you get at markets. You can even haggle a bit for the price. The material actually feels pretty alright, so you can get some alright t-shirts in here even though they're not the real thing. I wonder if it's real. This is such a cool area. So you've got like all these little knickknacks here and then you've got tailors and oh, oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, come over here. Definitely looks like something I could wear in Saudi. This one is beautiful. Getting some new undies. <laughs> Okay, I just had the random urge to start haggling and it was at like 280 and then we got it down to like 250 and then I was like, no, 200. And then when he said 220, I was like, you might as well do 200. But then I was like, okay, that's a bit mean. So we stuck to 220, but I don't know. I just got the random urge to start haggling. It didn't really pay off, but it's okay. <laughs> There's so much here. Oh my gosh. There's just aisles and aisles of it. You can literally spend hours in here. So if you're coming to the MBK Centre, make sure that you plan plenty of time to explore this place. Lots of underwear. There's also some women's bags. Some amazing copies right here. I've always wanted a Louis Vuitton bag. It's my lucky day. <laughs> um, how much is this? Okay. So 3,500 baht. So it's like 100 US dollars, which is about 20 times cheaper than a normal Louis Vuitton bag. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Hello, puppy. That's so cute. I love your necklace. Yeah. Bit of bling bling. We are definitely at the watch section at the moment. There's one watch store after the other here. Oh, so pretty. So I just found a really cute shop selling essential oils, but they also have tea. So what is this? Butterfly tea. Butterfly tea. Butterfly tea. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought he said butterfly pea. It's butterfly tea. I thought you said butterfly pea. <laughs> okay. Butterfly <laughs> tea. I was a little confused there too. I'm 
still concerned. Is it butterfly P or T? Yeah, this one. I don't know. He said P. Yeah. P. That's why he spelled P. Oh. <laughs> butterfly peas. Does anyone know what butterfly peas are? Okay, he he did actually say butterfly P, but I'm assuming it's a type of flower. Let's try some butterfly P T. Butterfly lady. Mm. <laughs> And they go to the toilet and... <laughs> Is it good? It's a weird taste, but it's very sweet. It's actually very sweet. <laughs> Does it taste like butterfly pea? No. I mean, I've never tried it, so I wouldn't know. That's so interesting. Well, it's, it's quite like... nice. Never tried butterfly pea tea before. <laughs> So I think we are on the electronics floor right now. Still looking for a new 360 camera. So the Insta360 camera. We think it might be cool to use one of those when we go off on our tuk-tuk rides, just so that you can see the whole perspective. They have everything here, all just different types of electronics and gadgets. This level here seems to be mostly phone related, right? Phones yes. and tablets. Yes. So apparently up at level five, we can possibly find cameras. So we're gonna go and head up there now and see what we can find. What is this place called, Ella? Big camera. <laughs> Unfortunately, we were not able to get the 360 cam at the NBK Center, so we will have to keep looking. We're on level one at the moment. How would you explain this one, Ella? There's a bit of everything. So there's pharmacies, there's makeup shops, there's food stalls, food stalls. there's clothes stalls. Kind Lots of, of handbags as yeah. well. There's middle sections with like big sales. There's proper restaurants. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, they're so cute. They have a llama one. I love llamas. There's actually a lot of space in there. So Ella just got herself a good purchase. I got some sandals. Yes. yes, we haggled super hard for these sandals. So she said 1800 and then she was like, oh wait, wait, special price, 1500 And we were like, okay, <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, that was the end of the haggling. So don't take me shopping with you if you're trying to get like a really, really hardcore bargain because as soon as the Thai people smile at me, I'm like, I'm done, that's it. I they... I'll do the haggling next time. Yeah, Casper's a little bit more hardcore. Yeah, I'm a bit tougher when it comes to that. <laughs> We just finished at the MBK Centre and I have to say that place is super cool. We could have spent the rest of the night there. So if you're looking for cheaper things like cheaper clothes, cheaper bags, suitcases, electronics, MBK Centre is definitely your place. So MBK is a really good place if you want to get some cheap poppies of different expensive brands and it had a great atmosphere inside. They have stairs that goes up to the platform and it connects three to four shopping malls in a row and basically you can just walk across to the platform to the next shopping mall. So we're going to head to Siam Paragon next yes. and then there's another shopping centre called Central World. Yes, I'm looking forward to that one. Okay, so now we are at Siam Discovery. Let's go and have a look and see what this type of shopping centre is like. There's my shoes, I left them at home. They actually have really nice shoes here. It's a really nice food court in here. They certainly have a lot to choose from. This food court goes on forever. It all looks really, really good. It's massive. So we just saw the Japanese pizza, so what we actually ate at Eat Street in Brisbane definitely looks better here and it's done in like a roll rather than like a flat pizza. So we've been in the Siam Centre and the Siam Paragon Shopping Centre and we are currently in the Central World Shopping Centre. They are massive shopping centres so you can certainly shop till you drop here. So we were told over at the MBK Center that apparently we should be able to find the Insta360 camera that we are looking for over here in the Central World Center. 
So we'll be looking here around to see if we can find it and also exploring the shopping center. Here in the Central World Shopping Center, they also have some really nice Christmas decorations. They have really decorated the shopping center nicely. We are definitely shopping mall hopping tonight. You will not run out of shopping opportunities. There are so many things to do. And we haven't even hit the markets yet. So we've only been to a few shopping malls, but there's loads more markets here in Bangkok to explore. We finally found our Insta360 camera and we've been searching around for it. It wasn't easy to find, but we finally found a shop that was selling it. So very excited to use this. So we just stumbled across the Samyang Mitro town and it's an interesting place. It's almost like a cute little market area down the base of the shopping center. I almost feel like in Bangkok, if they get a chance to squeeze in a market, they will. Uh, but it really creates a really cool vibe. I love it. They're fresh fruit and they're selling all sorts of different sort of food and fresh juice as well. It's really cute and just so unexpected. So you walk into a shopping mall and it turns out to be kind of like a little street market. It's really cute and I love that about Bangkok. I really like this one. street at the moment but there's some small alleyways so we're gonna duck into there and have a little bit of a look oh wow I can see some traditional Thai clothes They're beautiful do I need a pencil skirt do they have pencil skirts they do have pencil skirts okay 25 baby. do we like the hat I need to adjust it at the back, but it's so cute. <laughs> we are currently in Siam Square at the moment. It was this cute little laneway that's got all these gorgeous little markets selling all sorts of different things. Pajamas, different types of clothing, it's got food, there's shoes over here, jewellery, watches, more clothes. There's definitely loads of different things here. But yeah, Siam Square is amazing. There's like a massive big shopping mall on one side, an even bigger shopping mall on the other side. It's busy, there's people everywhere. Definitely a great place to come and do some shopping. And the prices seem really reasonable. Ella just grabbed a hat. It was only 150 baht. So pretty reasonable for that hat. It's a really, really nice place. I'm loving the, the fashion as well. It's like really modern. Lots of stuff for Ella. It's probably more for younger people, I would say. This particular market and the fashion here. Loads of cute t-shirts. It's really busy. So I'm, I'm busy vlogging and I think that I've lost my husband and child. <laughs> I don't know where they went. Casper, Ella, I don't know where they've gone. I think I lost them. One minute they were behind me and then the next minute they were gone. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I think I see Casper now. Oh, here they come. <laughs> I thought I lost you. Oh, no. I was starting to worry that I'd lost you in this sea of people. <laughs> no, we're too distracted looking at stuff. <laughs> Such cute clothes. So cute. So Ella just got herself a new pair of sunglasses. So the lady first started off at 750 baht, which was way too much in our opinion, so we said 250. And yeah, she didn't really want to give in to start with, but then when we started walking away, the price just kept dropping and dropping, and I think we probably made it 10, 15 meters away from the shop, and then we were down to 250, so I think we got ourselves an all right deal. What do you think, Ella? Yeah, it was it was amazing deal, so I'm very happy with my sunglasses. <laughs> so what do you think, Ella? I think I like these ones. Yeah, it's nice. The tan or the whites, not sure. So next great purchase, I got a wallet and I'm very happy with the price that we paid, which is good. Uh, not too much haggling, but I think it was a good deal. So Ella, Kali and I, we were here 12 years ago in Bangkok 
And while there still are a lot of street markets, a lot of them are actually closed now or have got a lot smaller. So a little bit of a surprise. In fact, some of the street markets have actually been replaced by shopping centers. So maybe in the future, there won't actually be any street markets here in Bangkok anymore. So we have just arrived at the Asia Teak Market and as a first impression, it uh, looks really nice, so let's go exploring. The markets always have such pretty dresses on display and I just spotted one that I really like. I'm just wondering how much this is. Okay, $3.90. Okay, thank you. So pretty. I think I need this scarf in my life. Oh wow, yeah, that's really nice. We'll take this one as well. Kapunka! Thank you, Kapunka! Kapunka! That's a colourful shop, oh my god! That's pretty. Looks like something I could wear into Jeddah. Where are we? Oh! Okay, wait, it's kind of reminding me of a hospital gown. Eh, maybe not. Yeah. This is not just a shopping destination, shopping, food, entertainment. It has a lot to offer here, so definitely recommend coming and having a look at Asia Teak. It's a really nice place. We've had an amazing time shopping around Bangkok. I have to say, it gets pretty hectic out there and we've caught tuk-tuks all around the city. So we've been sitting in traffic, sitting in pollution, it's been noisy and dusty, and it's so nice to come back to such a beautiful hotel. We are staying at the Sindhorn Kapinski and this place is spectacular. The foyer is just out of this world. It has this beautiful Thai-inspired pavilion, but then it also has all the greenery around the foyer as well. So you feel like it's an indoor, outdoor foyer with all the glass and you can see the beautiful gardens surrounding the hotel. When we walked into our room, we did not expect that we would have a small kitchen. And it's a full kitchen. It has an oven and everything that you need. Then it has a lovely living space and then a beautiful balcony overlooking the city. And the room that we're staying in overlooks a gorgeous garden down below. So it's been really nice sitting out on the balcony, chilling and just enjoying the view. And the bedroom is amazing as well, it has the same view. The bed is super duper comfortable. And then you walk through the walk-in wardrobe to go to the bathroom and the bathroom has a beautiful soaking tub. Today, for example, we've done 20,000 steps. So it'll be really nice just to soak in the tub and relax and you know get the smells of Bangkok off me. <laughs> yeah, it's a really beautiful hotel. We've really enjoyed staying here. I would highly recommend it and we certainly can't wait to come back here. We have had so much fun here shopping in Bangkok. We have certainly got some great bargains. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our adventures. See you next time on Living the Joe Live. What more can I do? Baby, all I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> Baby. I think we just lost at least a hundred subscribers there, Ella. If you want to hear more of me singing, don't forget to like and subscribe and please request it in the comments. Thank you.